Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream. I'm going to do your June the 20th just for today in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's get into that meditation. Okay, I gave myself a scare there. I was trying to share the screen and almost ended <laughs> the recording. So I'm glad that I'm glad to be alive today and I'm grateful for today. June 20th, Meditation for Beginners. For some, prayer is asking for God's help. Meditation is listening for God's answer. Quieting the mind through meditation brings an inner peace that brings us into contact with the God within us. Be patient when you're learning to meditate, many of us were told. It takes practice to know what to listen for. We're glad someone told us that, or many of us would have quit after a week or two of meditating. For the first few weeks, we may have sat each morning, stilled our thoughts, and listened, just as the basic text said, but heard nothing. It may have taken a few more weeks before anything really happened. Even then, what happened was often barely noticeable. We were rising from our morning meditations, feeling just a little bit better about our lives, a little more empathy for those we encountered during the day, and a little more in touch with our higher power. For most of us, there was nothing dramatic in that awareness, no bolts of lightning or claps of thunder. Instead, it was something quietly powerful. We were taking time to get our egos and our ideals out of the way. In that clear space, we were improving our conscious contact with the source of our daily recovery, the God of our understanding. Meditation was new and it took time and practice, but like all the steps, it worked when we worked it. Just for today, I will practice listening for knowledge of God's will for me, even if I don't know what to listen for yet. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now, please. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please and thank you. What a powerful meditation, meditation for beginners. It's in my opinion that we just start where we can start. There's some people that go on meditation. Um, I would call it, uh, what would you, like a vacation, but it's not really a vacation. It is a vacation because it's 10 days away from everyone. No, no cell phones are allowed and it's complete silent unless it is a meal. When you're having morning tea and you're having breakfast and you're having lunch and dinner, you can communicate with the other people that are on the retreat. That's the word I'm looking for. But other than that, it's 10 days of complete silence. And you do you know what happens during that 10 days of meditation? People get an opportunity to hear themselves hear what sort of thoughts they have, whether they be positive or negative, but generally speaking, negative thoughts. So a person becomes familiar with their own thoughts. 
then they get an opportunity to try and sort that out without any assistance from another human being other than their God, their higher power, whatever source that is. They have an opportunity to present these thoughts to God and receive from God a response to what they're thinking or feeling or doing. Right, they're not doing much in that retreat, but I'm talking about the things they've done over the years. And without fail, everyone that I know that has successfully completed this 10 days of silence comes back with, there were times when I didn't think God was with me. There were times that I didn't think I was loved. And I came away having an absolute awareness of the beauty in the world, the beauty within me, the beauty in others, and that even when I'm not thinking, God is with me. God is definitely with me. I'm loved and I'm cared for. And I've spent the majority of my life worrying about things that were never my responsibility to fix, manage, or control. It's a wonder I didn't use drugs. It's a wonder that I did not turn to something else to change my perception of reality because the reality was is that it was never mine to carry and I was trying to carry it and it was becoming far too much for me. So for beginners, I want you to go back over this meditation for today. I want you to look at it from the perspective that I am going to notice a change. It may be small or it may be large, but I am going to notice a change and I am going to ride that wave until the next one comes. That's all I want you to do. I don't want you looking for a lightning bolt coming from the sky. I don't, I'm not looking for you to have some huge clarification about a relationship you're in. I am not looking for you to see what you need to cook for dinner, how much weight you need to lose. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I am telling you that when you are meditating, right, when you're praying, and then meditating, some of the craziest things will come out, right? About myself, about what I'm thinking, what I, what my uh, hurts and handcuffs may be, right? Some of the craziest things. And that is information that I need. That is definitely like a confirmation. It's not that I didn't know I had crazy thoughts, right? They call them automatic negative thoughts. It, it is not that I didn't know I had them. I knew that I had them, but I become so much more aware that I have them. Like they're staring me in the face. In the moment of silence, they're staring me in the face. I can no longer deny them. But what happens after that is what I want you to pay attention to. What happens after you see, because that's what's going on in meditation, your spiritual eye, your mind, right, is seeing the way that you're thinking and behaving. And when you dismiss all of that and say, okay, I acknowledge you, you need to go. That negative thought cannot stay here, right? After you take control of that, release that, in that sense is what I mean, control, okay? You release that. What happens after that? That next few seconds or minutes of silence. How your God ministers to you about that tendency to take on things, to worry about things, to try to be something that you're not, 
I want you to pay attention to that. It's not going to be comfortable. You're not going to feel like you're, you're doing it right. But I want to tell you, there's really not a wrong way to do meditation except for not to do it. Same thing with prayer. There's really not a wrong way to pray except for not to do it. Now you can quote me on that. So let's start somewhere. The meditation today is meditation for beginners. So common sense tells me that I'm not a guru at this. I'm learning how to do this. And you can you can kind of go through this as a challenge to yourself. Okay, let me set my timer. I'm going to start my prayer and meditation. I'm going to start this and I'm going to see how long I can stay still and do this. And initially, you're going to see, you're probably making to-do lists. You're probably thinking about what you need to grow, grab at the grocery store. You're going to see that initially. But every time something like that comes up, dismiss it. Let it go. I will deal with you later. And go back into listening mode, the meditative part. And when you can't take it anymore, just say, thank you, God, and be done. Look at the timer, and maybe you see it's only two minutes and 35 seconds. All right. Later on in the day, I want you to return to this process, set the timer again, and push yourself. Just when you think you can't take another second of it, say, oh, but I can do 10 more seconds. Quiet and tell yourself, I can do 10 more. And when you're at your wit's end, go ahead and stop. When you open your eyes, you might find that you've done five minutes or 10 minutes or 15 minutes. The re restoration that comes, or for us, the language would be the recovery that comes to us, the feeling of wellness that comes to us as a result of stopping praying and doing meditation is huge. It's huge. And you can get more of it the more often you do it. But you have to do it. It's just like any other step. Step 11 is the same as any other step. It only gets worked for you. And it only works for you when you actually do it. You can't benefit from my prayer and meditation for my 11th step. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed, <laughs> I've enjoyed really talking about this meditation uh, today. I hope that you have a beautiful day on purpose. I intend to. I'm looking forward to my day. Take care and we'll talk tomorrow.